In this video, I'll explain why clocks fail in distributed systems and how engineers solve this with logical clocks and event ordering. Hi there, welcome to Tech and Career Bytes. I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience, including seven years in leadership roles at a global product based organization. Imagine a refund lockdown server A and a debit lockdown server B. By timestamps, it looks like the debit happened before the refund. But business logic says otherwise. What's gone wrong? It's this. In a distributed system, you can't trust a system time. On one machine, system time is fine. Across many machines, it breaks for three reasons. Clocks drift. Hardware oscillators are not perfect. Network delays and asymmetric routes make synchronization imprecise. And there is no mechanism to take an instantaneous global snapshot. Even NTP crony reduces error. It does not eliminate it. The result? Timestamps across nodes can be inconsistent, causing misordered logs, broken leader elections and confused audit trails. What matters in distributed systems is ordering, which event causally preceded which, not the absolute wall clock time. Leslie Lampard formalized this. If event A caused event B, we should guarantee a timestamp ordering that reflects that causality. That's where logical clocks come in. A Lampard logical clock is just a counter per process. Rules are simple. Increment on local events, Attach counter on send and on receive, set counter to maximum of local and received plus 1. This guarantees if A happened before B, then timestamp of A should be less than timestamp of B. It does not detect a concurrency, only ordering. Vector clocks are used when you must detect a concurrency. Here is a sample Java code implementation for logical clocks. Let's hear tiny threaded simulation demonstrating logical clock significance. This small demo prints both wall time and lamp out timestamp. So you can see ordering preserved even when wall timestamps invert. Two nodes exchange messages and print both wall and lamp out timestamps. Notice how log ordering by lamp out is causal even if wall clock order is inverted. See the line where wall timestamps are out of order. But lamp order timestamps correctly reflect the happened before a relation. If you prefer quick demos, here is a compact Python async IO version that does the same thing. Easy to run on your laptop. Run it to see the same pattern. Wall timestamps may invert. Logical timestamps preserve causal order. When logging distributed events, always include both wall clock and logical timestamps. It is the most practical trick. You can see an example JSON log entry here. Sorting by lamp order timestamp gives you causal ordering for debugging, while wall time remains useful for latency and TTL calculations. Physical time still matters for TTLs, expiries, and reporting. There are NTP and crony service available for syncing system clocks across machines. Network time protocol is the standard protocol used for syncing system clocks across machines. Crony is a modern improved time sync service that replaces or complements NTP. But even with NTP and crony, you can't get perfect sync. Here is an extract of crony configuration. Crony keeps the clocks very close, but it can't eliminate the last few milliseconds of a drift and a network delay. And even that tiny difference is enough to break event ordering in distributed systems. NTP reduces the large skews, but network asymmetry and jitter mean small skews will remain. And small skews can invert event ordering. 
many real systems use a hybrid approach a hybrid approach uses a physical time plus a logical counter they are also called hybrid logical clocks they let you keep approximate real time while preserving causality hlcs are practical when you need whole clock semantics and causality databases and distributed logs sometimes use this hybrid pattern quick checklist before you go include both wall and logical time stamps in logs use lampard clocks when you only need ordering use vector clocks when you must detect a concurrency and consider hlc when you need physical time plus causality to summarize system clocks are useful but unreliable for cross node event ordering for ordering use logical clocks please watch our vector clock video to detect concurrency and resolve conflicts if you found this video helpful give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies coding system design big data and career growth my name is rupa and i thank you so much for watching this video see you next time